In today's video, I'm gonna show you the Venpox Split, which is a portable touchscreen monitor that will allow you to use Samsung DeX, play your video games, as well as use as an external monitor on your computer. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now, Vinpok reached out to me, asked if I wanted to review this, so they did send it to me so I could check it out for you guys. Now, currently, Vinpok does have this available for $199 on Indiegogo. They have reached their backing funds, so that's really great, but you can go and check out all the details about this Indiegogo project in the description below. So first of all, let's take a look at what's inside the box. So here when you open it, you see this really nice carbon fiber looking magnetic cover. So this does cost an extra $19, uh, but definitely worth it to have. It just magnetizes onto the back and it's able to be easily flipped open. And then uh, you can also use this as a stand. So also, in, not only do you get the monitor in the case, but you have a USB-C power cable that is just powered by regular USB. And then you also have a USB-C to USB-C cable that you are able to use for your monitor, your switch, your Galaxy device. Now inside the box, we also have a mini HDMI to full HDMI. So this will be used to plug from your computer into the actual VIN POC split display. So that all comes inside the box. So taking a fuller look at the device here on the left side, we have a USB-C, this is where you will provide power to your device. And then here you have a little button that you can press in to change some of the settings. And then here you have a power option. Looking over here on the left side of the device, we do have the mini HDMI input, as well as we have the USB-C input. And then we also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that you could be used to play um, the audio coming into the monitor out into your own headphones. And then here at the bottom of the device, you do have two very small speakers. They work, but definitely you would want to use something else for your speakers. So getting this setup is super easy. So right here, I have this plugged in with the USB power right here. And I'm just using like a Samsung charging brick that I have. And then here I've plugged in the USB-C cable over on the right side. And now all I'm going to do is plug it into my Galaxy Note 9 right here. And you can see that it instantly turns on and it will start booting up the Samsung DeX mode. And now you can see that it loaded full Samsung DeX over here on the monitor. So depending on what Samsung phone you have, here I have the Galaxy Note 9. That will work with Samsung DeX. I also tested my T-Mobile version of the Galaxy S9 Plus, and that will also load up the full Samsung DeX experience. So one of the things um, with most USB-C to HDMI, you can only open up five applications when using Samsung DeX, but this is pretty much like owning a DeX pad or the DeX station. It lets you open up as many applications as you would like. And it's also charging the phone at the same time. Now, I'm not exactly sure how fast of a charge it will be, but it is doing that. And that's what allows you to have more of those applications open at once. So now using the DeX on here is super easy because you have the touchscreen monitor. You don't need to find a mouse or a keyboard. So if I want to open an app, all I need to do is double tap on the application and it will open up. And now down here, I can select my apps. I can scroll through all these apps and I found that the touchscreen actually worked incredibly well. Now I really had no problem in using the Samsung DeX. You can also switch your phone to be able to use the S Pen on your phone here on the Note 9 and have Samsung DeX over here. I only had one issue where I was playing a certain song, it would crash every time, but other than that, everything seemed to work just fine. Now let's take a deeper look at the case here. So this is the magnetic case, and there you can see that it magnetizes open right there, so I can have it at different angles that I want. So if you wanna just have it propped up like this or propped down, it worked really well. And then if I want to close it up, just like that, it shuts and uh, it's super thin. You could take this pretty much anywhere, fit it in a backpack, and then you have an external monitor for your laptop or just your phone. Maybe you want your phone to be your full 
PC machine. Well, having this around will definitely make that happen. So now let's test this with my Samsung laptop here. So my laptop does have USB-C, so I was able to instantly plug it into the side and then plug this right into the monitor and it would load up and then I could switch it so that my display um, extended onto the VinPox split display. Now there are a few different attachments you can get so that you could actually lock this right onto your laptop, which would be very convenient. And depending on the computer you have, you could also get two of these and pair them up at the same time. So you would have a three massive widescreen uh, laptop, which would be pretty cool to have. So when using this with USB-C on my laptop, the touchscreen worked just great. I could drag and drop, I could easily select different items um, and use my PC just like normal. I can also just use my mouse or whatever. Now next, I moved this over to my full PC. Now with this, I plugged it in through the HDMI to the HDMI mini. Now I did lose the ability to have the touchscreen while doing this, but it still worked great as a third monitor. So it was really nice that I could quickly use it, take it out when I needed three screens and then pull it away and fold it up um, when I didn't. Now maybe there's an option to get the touchscreen to work while plugged in with this, but I wasn't able to find that. Now with the screen size, I really like the 15.6 inch display. So at times I do wish it was a little bit brighter, but you can power this without an external plug when you're plugged in via USB-C to your computer. All I needed to do was plug it in. I didn't need another cable plugged in to power this. So that's pretty impressive to be able to do that. Um, but at times I would like to see a little more brightness in the display, but I think it does plenty well, especially if it's a little darker, depending on where you're using this at. Uh, it's plenty for watching videos. The screen quality looks really good. It does do full 1920 by 1080 when you are using things like the Samsung DeX or plugged into your monitor. Now, if you're going to plug this into say your Nintendo Switch, this will act as your output TV and it will only display on 720p when you are doing that way with the Nintendo Switch. Now, one of the things I loved about this is how portable it is. Being able to take this pretty much anywhere was very convenient. Now let's talk about using this as a productivity device. So for years, I actually edited my videos all on a laptop on one single screen. Now I don't know why I waited so long to get my dual setup over here, but having two monitors makes everything so much easier to use and so much faster when you can jump between different screens without having to keep minimizing and opening applications. So being able to have this with your laptop on the go is super convenient. I love that you just plug in the USB-C and it's able to power it at the same time as your laptop. So that's all in one. And then it can extend it onto here and you have that bigger display so that you can see much more um, pretty much anywhere you go. So if you're looking for a portable monitor solution, this will definitely fit that need. I also love that I can just plug in my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and it instantly goes into the Samsung DeX mode. So then I can browse on a much bigger screen. Now you do have the options where I could mirror my screen as well. So some of the older Samsung devices will do that, but this has been super convenient to be able to have, you could play a movie over here and keep using your phone to do certain things over here. So there you go. If you guys have any further questions about the VinPox split, let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos all about how to use Samsung DeX, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.